we're right on a training. We're just about to start to pour, and at any minute now, we're going to start pouring concrete up on top of this wall right here. As we do it a thousand times, we're going to do it. We're going to carve it, throw the concrete on the ground, bring it up. But we're going to show you a little more step by step on how we're doing it, even the steps without any forms. And then we're going to do another wall on the top, another wall on the top, and then a really large waterfall. As you can see, here's the drawings. Look at those drawings. See on the drawings, we're doing a, a, a waterfall, the fire pit, even an outdoor kitchen. We've changed it up a little bit. So now we've changed it up a little bit. We're gonna put the outdoor kitchen down lower here. Uh, might put a pergola next to it, who knows. We're kind of playing this side by ear. But right now we know for sure that we're gonna get a uh, steps, retainer wall, waterfall, retainer wall up there today. This is our first day. And that's what we're going to be doing. Listen, I want to talk to you about certain things. I want to let you guys know that we do not train on flat work whatsoever. Okay? So if you're doing flat work, get somebody to do it. We don't, we don't train on flat work. A thousand guys can do flat work. So I get a lot of guys come back and start playing. Oh, we did some flat work. It didn't come out right. Well, that's not on us. You learn flat work for somebody else. You might see us doing our own job site. But we're not about the flat work, we're not about coloring it, staining it, anything else. Our, whatever we do <clears throat> as a company, I do it so I can show off fire pits and benches. But other than that, if you haven't learned uh, flat work, we don't teach it. Go learn it, have somebody that knows how to do flat work, form it up, get it perfect, and do it. And then you can come and stamp it and cut it, do whatever you want to do with it. But for the amount, I just want to let you guys know, we do not mess with the flat work type of side of things. That's somebody for something else. If you want to go learn it and do it, that's a good. That's another craft into itself. But right now, we just want to let you know that. First off, on the update. Hey, listen, let's go look at some of the things that people are doing, some of the follow-ups uh, of, of uh, other dealers and the things that they're doing around the uh, around the country here. I want to talk to you about one of our stonemaker dealers, Alex Ryan. He's an actual, he's a, he's a, he came out of our veterans class. He's doing absolutely amazing work. What a great attitude. Everything about him, I love it. I just love the guy. So I want you to see some of his works, start to finish, what he's been doing, and uh, he's gonna talk to you, okay, guys? Let's go see what he's doing. straight up off the top of that, a big nice fall into a reservoir down here, and then down into our pond. And how do you design that? You say, well, how do you start? How do you even think about where the water is going to go and heck at? What you do is you make a base, and then you make the rocks to it. And as we do it, you'll get to see. I'm going to show you kind of, I get it in my mind. I draw it up, but it's just a rendition of what a waterfall could be. When I get done with it, it's just a different creation sometimes. So it, it all comes together, though, and that's really what's it. And here we are. See what time is it? We're at 2.26, we started at 10 o'clock, and we have most of the wall at the bottom down here, steps, this wall done, and most of this, uh, 
80% of the waterfall went to the base of it. We'll put in our frames and all the stuff in there that we're going to make it with. And then tomorrow, we'll add the panels and start making a real waterfall. I think it'll look nice. So stay tuned. It's looking good. some of our veteran de uh, dealers here. So tell us, man. Dave, right? Kevin. Kevin. That's what I said. <laughs> Kevin. Like, you know, say, it's kind of close. <laughs> Kevin. All right, Kevin, tell us what you think, man. I think Stonemakers is a great company. This is a great opportunity for all veterans. I recommend that um, for any veteran that has benefits should be able to do something like this. It's a great opportunity to get started in landscape or construction. I'm actually having a good time. You can see the progress we've made so far. We started this morning and we have just about over half of it complete. Now, what were you doing before, Kevin? Before, food service, um, security, hotel. You like this better? I like this better. You have some fun. I think he's gonna do good. We have a lot of good success stories and hopefully you got that, Kevin. Thanks for coming down, all right, buddy? Thanks, so Dave. tomorrow, let's get some more done. We'll talk to you again, all right? All right, Dave. All right. Thank you. We even have Latinos over here. <laughs> How you doing? They let them in. I don't know. How I, I didn't know I had got across the border, but Trump's not going to let them in our our dealership no more. So I don't know what I'm going to well, do. You I'm know still going to vote for him though. Me and Trump, we had a deal, and uh, I said I'd help him build that wall. That, well, that's why we're that's why we're here. <laughs> so tell us, brother. Yeah, you uh, do construction. You do. Uh, I do. Uh, my stuff, name right? is Pablo Montano from Tucson, Arizona. Um, I before this, I was doing uh, construction, framing, and um, um, roofing, engineered roofing and flooring trusses, and that's pretty much it. But um, this is unbelievable. If I if I were to come out here right now, like I was telling some of the other other uh, veterans, if you were to if I were to come out here right now, even though it's not finished and colored and detailed, I would I would swore on my life that th these were just rocks. I. Just, even though they're got, you guys got gray rocks somewhere because it's just it's <laughs> and, so and you know, unreal. What's crazy? You guys got this thing. At first, you were trying to get the carving, had little yeah. things. I just showed a few things, and all of a sudden, they were doing it, man. And that last wall over there, that was all by themselves, man. That was just I let it go, and you know, they just they knocked and it it's out. So, so. Much, it's so much easier doing it right here in real life than trying to draw the draw it on a picture because mm -hmm. I can't draw. Dude, we're gonna teach you how to draw this. Way. <laughs> uh, we're not done. Thank you. Come on, brother. Thank we're you. not done, man. All right, awesome. thank you, man. Thank hey, you. we're all done here. I got a guy, my Canadian guy here, man. What's happening, <laughs> hey, brother? How about you? Tell him this. In Canada, they say the A afterwards. Like in New York, you're like. In New York, you say it uh, before, right? You go, yeah. hey, what are you doing? You know, hey. No, but now you say it afterwards. You go, uh, we're doing the stonemakers, eh? Right? <laughs> right? Like that? You got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a great experience. Uh, back home, we uh, had a landscaping company where we used the traditional blockways and that. And this is so much faster. As, as you can see, we start at uh, around 10, 1030. And uh, we're packing up and going and letting her drive. We did a lot. Now, we did a lot. Who would do block after this, right? No. It's done. There you go. All right, This man. is the quick way to do it. Good to have you here. I know you brought your son, so we're excited. We're going to talk to him a little later. The update, guys. So listen, here's some more uh, jobs that you see of guys doing it all across the country. How amazing that they are. I love the, the artwork and the real uh, the passion that gets into the artwork of some of these dealers. And uh, here's a few guys I want you to look at. And, uh, you know, give us an email back or just a comment on uh, on this, on the YouTube uh a video here and tell us a little bit what you think about the guys that are doing this. All right.
second day, we've done all the waterfall uh, base, the retainer walls, we've got everything all pretty much all set. Over here, we've got a fire pit. Oh, in one hour, we have a bench, fire pit, and a little retainer wall down here. I think it's been not even an hour, maybe 45 minutes on the ground. And uh, we're just about there. So here we're doing the fire pit. As you can see, he's getting all the inside concrete out of there. We make, basically, we make a wall here. It's going to be like a tree stump. Uh, they basically call it the redneck fire pit. <laughs> but that's what we're doing here. And they're going to get all this done around here. Bring it up, make it level. And then they're going to make a, we're going to put the, the, the texture on it to make it look like wood. Carve it up really nice and have fun with it. And then we'll put the patio down, patio over there. That'll be done for the day. Oh, plus the waterfall. We'll start putting the, the rebar. Doesn't look like much there, but you watch what happens when we get a hold of that thing. The creativity we'll be able to do with the panels is really going to just make a big difference. So, pretty exciting. Stay tuned. Watch what we're doing. We got the tree stump fire pit, everything this morning. So, so far this morning we got all of this done and now we're going to stamp it. But really what's important now is what we're doing is we're adding on to the uh, uh, the concrete we laid here and we're putting our panel system on it. So that is a really nice piece there. They're going to put it underneath. Uh, it's right. <coughs> so they're going to put the panels underneath there to make the boulders underneath it. See that? So that's what they're doing. They're getting that, they're tying it in. And they're going to make a boulder underneath that. They make all our underneath panels first. Then they put the side, then they put the top, the reservoir, and the waterfall is done. But we should have it running by noon tomorrow. So between that, the extra pad we have here, we'll put the uh, outdoor kitchen together on Saturday. And uh, man, we're, we're rocking with this thing. We should have most of it all done by Saturday. So that's for four days. Ridiculous amount of work. Pretty good, huh? Finished in a, you know two hours here tomorrow. We'll have it all mudded up, put water in it, color it up, put water in it, and turn it on. So uh, it's it's very amazing how this happens on this durable, loving, I uh, love the stuff. All righty, keep. See you tomorrow. So, well, actually, three and a half. So, we've already done the outdoor kitchen. We got the two patio tops. We got the patio over there, and we got the two countertops ready to pop up. We've had them on there about an hour. We're going to pop them after lunch, put them up on top, and that outdoor kitchen will be finished. Probably, what, what do we got? Three hours into that outdoor kitchen, maybe? When it's done, we still got to color and stuff. So, <clears throat> I got lighting I put inside here, and we put the lighting inside here, and we also put like colored lighting in here. Um, put it up in behind here. Up over here, you really can't tell because this right here, I put the mud in here and then up under there. See where the wires were here? The wires were all in here. And we just mudded them and then we're going to color over them. We're going we're gonna to seal up this basin a little bit more with leaking a little bit. So we have to, that's another thing you can do. If your basin is leaking or you have a basin that's leaking, okay, this is an upper basin because you can make the whole thing. You don't have to order a concrete, you can actually make it all out of uh, panel mix. But if your base is a little leaking, just put a slurry mix like you would a hydraulic cement. The problem with hydraulic cement, it just doesn't seal as good. This stuff here is going to be strong, and you can seal the whole basin like that. Connie Cummings out of California does that a lot. I know that uh, a lot of guys do, and she's kind of started that. But we, we've done a lot of things with it. We're going to show you some overlays that we've done uh, 
with the product. Some really cool steps. I had some steps that have been around 12 years and I overlaid the whole thing. And uh, it's really cool to see how this product is really usable for just about anything. And so here we made a basin. We put two rocks together. And, uh, you know, the old GFRC used to have the backers and you used to put it all like that. Nobody wanted to do the backers and all that. Here you just make a panel take the panel to itself because the product is so awesome and you can't even tell where the, it's mudded together and the realism of the rock because you know I can layer one to here we put deck screws to put the two panels together and off the deck screws it makes a ledge it makes ledges and all kinds of stuff so we're making our own rock as it makes it and uh, here we went over this is all wire and now it's hot and it's uh, already cured and so we have white lighting it's gonna be like this we, we have a moving right along they're having lunch and uh, burrito time, I'm there. You know, it's funny, the class did this one, Corey and the boys did this one here, and it came out, they did, they did an amazing job. That's just emulating what we're doing here. So, showing how extremely simple and easy it is to do these countertops. But look at this design, it's like a marble, it's got the old cracks in it, and the, the you know, the, the veins, and the, oh my god, this is just beautiful. And of course, the underlayment, which is, of course, the substrate, without uh, the substrate that is also a veneer. That's, that's our... Cliff Rock, uh, Cliff Rock look there. We love it, man. And then we have the waterfall. We already finished all. We put lighting all in there, as I talked about earlier. And now they're putting the water in there. And they're finishing it all up. We got the sealer on the patio. And this thing's almost a wrap, man. It was only three o'clock in the afternoon on the fourth day. All right, here we are with Susan. Susan, what did you think of this whole thing? You saw the drawing from the beginning. Uh, you saw us at a home show. What, what's what's your thoughts? I met you at the home show, <laughs> and I had you come out. When I met with you, you had great ideas. And then, whenever I saw your drawing, I was just blown away and couldn't believe this could really be in my backyard. Why would you want to do that? And then you had said you'd do it within a week, and the guys got it done in four days. We're done. We're almost done. Too. Everybody that I've shown all the pictures to, they all want to come over. They all love it. And just everyone is just so amazed and inspired. And this is beyond my wildest dream that this could be my backyard. Thanks for giving us a canvas. We well, appreciate it. Well, thank you for right. everything. I love it. Good stuff.